This is a 3.4 billion shillings fruit processing plant in Ruero, part of Makere University, and NADS support for agribusiness incubation, particularly targeting fruit value addition. There was something that we already found here, but it was uh, the capacity was very low. They were producing less, and all whatever the farmers were producing could not be consumed by the factory. So that is when we agreed to bring equipment that would be able to take in as many fruits as possible in a single day. So when you look at this facility, it is two metric tons per hour. So the support from NAD has taken us from a cottage fa uh, facility that can produce only little amounts of, uh, that can handle only small quantities of produce into a large facility where up to 10,000 liters of juice can be produced here in this facility. We are ready to work with entrepreneurs from across the region to make this a center where entrepreneurs in the fruit value chain can start their journey to success. However, like several other government-supported agribusiness initiatives, the chronic poor power supply affects the projected output of this plant. You, you can hardly have power in this factory for, for four hours uh, continuously. So we have had that challenge of power. It is not clear why the Nakaseke area, where much agricultural value chain support has been put, cannot have stable electricity. Yet, Uganda claims to have a surplus. Rachel Naibisubi, NTV Business.